are doing a Heroes Award. And why are we doing that? On September 6th, we had a shooting here in the village where we had a really lucky individual who didn't die because of the efforts of his staff at Marsh Family Dentistry and a couple other citizens that came to help. And we feel it's important for the village to give back a little bit and show um, a token of our appreciation by handing out um, hometown hero awards. We think it's important. Lee is a community member. We all know Lee. And for their actions, what they did, he's here today. And that's why we're here to do this. And just a testament to the values of the Village of Winter County residents and workers here. They were in the middle of helping patients with their teeth. And they see Lee walking in injured, bleeding. And they stopped what they were doing and they came out selfishly or selflessly and rendered aid to him. And because of that, he's sitting here today and he also wants to give some thanks to you guys as well. So that's why we're here. And so I have plaques for everybody. And if I miss your name, I'm used to it. So if you get my name wrong, forgive me. So when you guys come up, if you just want to go to my left, and then Mr. Halder, if you want to say something after that, you're more than welcome, OK? Lisa Labs, did she make it? OK, forgive me, Abby Mastercola. Stephanie Jeffers, or is it Jeffers? Oh, you, you sneak over there. Okay. Yeah. Amanda Carpenter. Brian Mueller. Brian? Now, just a little side note on Mr. Uh, Mueller. He's one of our first responders, and I feel he's deserving of this because he's at the majority of our first responder calls. And as a result of that, we work hand in hand. I feel he's deserving of this award as well. So keep up the good work, Brian. Michael Kitchen, that's or Michelle. My bad. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't hold it against me. No. Would you believe my contacts are blurry? <laughs> oh. Dr. Marsh. Tina Reitz. <laughs> Karina, you're gonna, you're gonna kill me. I'll just say Karina Mino Mickelson. I hear? Okay. <laughs> Chris Sumjit. No, he, okay. Interest in. Come on up. Mr. Holder, would you like to have a few words? Uh, well, obviously, I didn't do a big whatever. Uh, so my thought was I was going to start out with a joke, and that being, I know you're supposed to set an appointment first. I didn't really have time, uh, but I thank you guys so much, basically, for saving my life, because that's what you did. Uh, I can't thank you enough. There's not enough words to. <laughs> if I would have waited two minutes, it wouldn't have worked. Uh, but you guys were remarkable. Uh, many, many honors. I mean, I, I can't thank you enough. It was you guys did went above and beyond. And sorry about the, screwing up the. <laughs> <laughs> and now you can have that back. Uh, <laughs> oh. You're one.
one tough man. That's yeah. uh, it was, my thoughts were, where do I go? What do I do? My choices were right. Uh, I, I don't know, everything worked out just, just as they, the best they could have. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be here. And I thank you all because, my God, I, yeah, five minutes wouldn't have been there. Otherwise, whatever. You guys did wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. That's a great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Throwing up the day. No, Maybe this little good. break you guys got yeah, to. It was exactly. a beautiful day. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, glad we're here. Did you get one this year? Uh, no, I give it up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Nice to see you upright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and hopefully I didn't screw up the lawn either. <laughs> <laughs> Just walk us through that day. What? Uh, well, there's a gentleman that, that, that I don't know, there was a brake check in front of me, uh, whatever, and I wanted to know why he did it. So I followed him around, or followed him to where he stopped, and once he stopped, uh, basically things went really haywire after that. Uh, he asked me if I was afraid of guns, and that baffled me. Uh, then basically he opens the door and started shooting. And then I had to get out of there, because otherwise I wouldn't have made it. But stopped at Marsh Down the Street, and they miraculously uh, started plugging holes in that. And then the ambulance got there and did their first aid, whatever. And I don't know, a month later, I was out of the hospital. And fortunately, due to everybody that had their hands in it, I made it. But everybody put their best effort forward and, and and it made my life a lot better because I'm still living. <laughs> yeah, what made you go there to the day? I basically was just thinking where would be a good place. I mean, active people not knock on the door because I don't have time for that. Uh, go to a place where there are people and they all were, I don't know, first aid kind of. They all would know what's going on and fortunately they did. So that, I don't know, made life, I don't know, felt like forever, but I don't know. It was not quite forever, so <laughs> time still goes on. Yeah, I mean, you, you, did you, you, you kind of joke that you sort of parked properly? Did, did you get out of the car? Did you have well, yeah. going in? Did you yeah, yeah, pull in there like a bat out of hell? Or? No, I, I did the legal turn signals, this and, well, maybe not turn signals, but uh, I had to wait for a car to pull in because somebody was ahead of me, so I don't want to cut them off. But they pulled into their spot, and I pulled in the back spot, so I ain't blocking the buddy. And I walked out, and there's a lady across the street that I asked if she could yell for her, or whatever, call an ambulance. And somebody did, because they were there as quick as they could be. And then first responders did their things. But I don't know, it was enough. So what, did they care for you outside, or were you in? Did you make your way in? No, I didn't go okay. in the building, because that would have not been good. <laughs> No, I, well, I was standing there for a little bit, and I laid down on the grass, considering, I don't know, kind of getting lightheaded, but laid down, and that's when, I don't know, it didn't take long, and they're doing whatever they had to do to plug holes or whatever, but they, I don't know, they, they saved enough whatever I needed to make me keep going. What was it like? Was today the first time you met any of them, or had you met any of them before? Very, well, I've talked to... Ben, uh, the officer, and the great guy, great guy. Uh, I don't know. He. But today was the first time you met everybody from the side yes, of the dental yes. office. And well, what was that like for you? To do you recognize faces or no? I no. When I was laying on my back and the sun's up above me, I shut my eyes and kind of didn't pay attention to much. I was just trying to focus on living. At that time, it was. I don't know. I was going oh, to ask what was the last thing you remember. Oh, unfortunately, I remember the whole thing. Mm -hmm. The worst part was riding in the ambulance. 
no suspension. And you're getting jarred around, not fun. I should have called done the flight for life thing, but eh, no, that would have been too nice. <laughs> it would have been quicker too, but oh well. It was it was an experience that I did not want to go through again. And I hope nobody has to go through that because that's a lot more than anybody really should. But I don't know, forged to the graces of the good people there, here, everywhere pretty much, uh, that they did their two steps or whatever it was to to keep me still kicking. And I don't know, with everybody's help, I made it through. What was it like to get hugs from some of them today? <laughs> Rewarding. <laughs> I, yeah, I can't give them enough thanks because, I don't know, it's not a situation where really hopefully many people don't have to go through. Uh, unfortunately, they do do the way things are now, but I don't know. Uh, very, very grateful. I, I can't say enough for them, uh, but everybody, I mean, if somebody needs a hand, give them a hand. It's, it's you know, nobody is better than anybody else. We're all the same. Uh, if you can help somebody out, more power to you because the way in my eyes it makes you a better person you know. a lot to be thankful for this week of thanksgiving for you huh oh very much i never thought of it that way but yes <laughs> <laughs> very very much so what uh, has recovery been like uh slow but uh no unfortunately it ain't done yet but uh the body healing and all that stuff with the surgeons and they did a remarkable job. Uh, I don't know, a few scars, gee, oh well, minor. Uh, doesn't make your day any different. Uh, I think my modeling career is over, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you talk, what, what were your injuries? How many gunshot wounds did you uh, suffer? They had one go through my forearm here, which kind of, I don't know, screwed up my left hand, big deal. I got surgery coming up for that, so hopefully that'll work all well. One went through my side by my hip, uh, and then kind of come out my stomach, and whatever. Uh, that's, I don't know, pretty good scar, but big deal. Uh, they got everything healed up, or put back together, which they had to fix, uh, but that was not really an issue. Uh, they did quite a remarkable job. I mean, considering your stomach's all, your intestines, everything's all kind of blown apart to just start cutting and stitching and you're all good. I don't know how, how anybody can figure that out. I mean, schooling, obviously, but, but I don't know, a lot more knowledge than I have. Lesson learned here? What's the lesson you learned here, anything? Uh, <laughs> don't always be curious, maybe, because I just wanted to ask the guy why he did it. And unfortunately, I never got the answer, and I'll never be able to get the answer. But it's, I don't know, somebody's having a bad day, leave them alone, maybe. Uh, I don't know. It's, it, I've never come across a situation like that prior. Uh, I don't know. Normally, you can tell somebody or talk to somebody and calm them down, and their life's better. But this situation, no. It's a little over the top. But oh well, uh, live and learn, I guess. Happy to be alive, and you got this team of. Very, very is that happy. your new dentist now in town? <laughs> <laughs> My dad was there today. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I should. Yes, it should be. <laughs> uh, Anything no. else you think is important that we didn't ask about? Off the top of my head, I, I don't know. I'm a little bit kind of camera shy, but I'm standing here. But <laughs> You did a great uh, job. And you live here in the city of Winnicani, or do you live outside of Winnicani? A couple miles out. Okay, so you're not a, or not a village resident, live outside the village. I'm very familiar with the town, though. Okay. And know quite a few people, and I don't know if anybody is, a, say, a bad person, if you will. I think everybody's pretty great here. Uh, I don't know. A lot of good people, and I don't know, the day that, that this happened to me, I... Out of all the guesses a person could make, and the confusion that you have, uh, I don't know. I picked the right choice, and it worked out miraculously for me. Otherwise, I don't know. <laughs> have you have a different tune? <laughs> or waited two more minutes, or whatever. I don't know. It worked out well.
As almost three months ago, we met for the first time, I guess. Today, what was it like to, to see Lee here? Oh, it was incredible to see. Oh, that's your good. <laughs> it's incredible to see him, you know, in, in such a healthy state. He looks so much better, so full of life and color, and just, I, I was so happy to see him. Walk me through that day. <laughs> okay, so we were in the busiest part of our busiest day of the week, and um, yeah, I was right in the middle of an exam with the patient, and my hygienist, Tina, said, hey, there's somebody that's hurt outside, and <laughs> yeah, he's bleeding profusely, so I got up, and we all, um, Tina and then um, another patient and I went outside, and yeah, saw his wounds. It was pretty intense. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You're, no offense, but you're a dentist, right? You're not <laughs> yeah. a trauma surgeon. Right. <laughs> I mean, probably so, shocking. I mean, you said oh, someone yeah. said there was someone hurt outside. You probably didn't expect that. Right, right. So um, immediately called 911, got all our emergency equipment, and just started tending to his wounds. He was yeah, bleeding profusely and just had to take care of what we could. What was it like? They put him in the ambulance and he drove away. What was that like for you guys at that moment? Were you... It's terrifying, you know? You just worry that he's gonna, he's not going to make it, you know? You do your best, and yeah, it, it's... Uh, just traumatic, you know, just seeing that. Took a, took a while before I could sleep real well at night and everything, you know. Just, uh, it's a tough experience to go through, for sure. Yeah, how are you and your staff <laughs> doing? Now, you know, I don't think about it that much, but tonight's bringing, bringing some of those memories back. So, um, yeah, it's just emotional, you know. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're a doctor. You, you're, you're, the rest of your staff, all sort of medical professionals, too, like, stuff just sort of kicks in at that point or yeah your adrenaline's going and you're just yeah doing what you can to take care of the issues as quickly as you can um with the limited uh resources that we had you know to tend to those wounds but um yeah well for instance we used a just a lab coat to try to put pressure on and tie off one of his major wounds and um, a couple of staff members were elevating his arm and just keeping pressure on on some wounds just to stabilize them until the first responder arrived and the officers. But you had gauze, right? <laughs> <laughs> we, we actually didn't use any gauze. We didn't, we didn't use any gauze, no. Um, we did not. We just yeah used the, the lab coat, essentially, and um, some towels, a lot of towels. So, yeah. A lot to be thankful for. It's Thanksgiving week, how appropriate is this? Absolutely, guess, right? yeah. To see him doing so well is just, yeah, it's an amazing thing for sure. It, it, yeah, it was traumatic, um, but I felt like we really came together as a team, and I was fairly, you know, I'm fairly new to the staff, and it was really not what you want to do for a team building exercise, <laughs> but I feel like we really were able to trust each other and use each other as resources and work together in a way that no one should have to work together, but for, for the greater good, for Lee. And it's just nice to see him today. and kind of gives yeah. heartwarming yeah. To, to see him today. It was. It, I think everyone had the same emotion, just wanted to give him a hug, mm -hmm. you know, to know that he's okay. Is today sort of the healing, Does it, you know, for you guys after what you saw and experienced? Be some yeah. definite closure just to see him walking and talking and, mm -hmm. you know, it just... Different state than yeah. what we saw him last time. Yeah.